Right, hi everyone, I'm going to make another video today. Um, this one's about uh, single women. You know, single women in Australia and around the world, uh, around my age, in the late 20s, early 30s, um, do have a lot of high standards. And that most Australian men don't live up to their standards either. These women are very picky. And uh, even though they know that they have a, a clock and it's about to expire, these women don't think about it logically and until it's too late. Um, you know, I say it all the time. I, I don't I don't think I meet most of the standards of Australian women at all because I'm not that attractive. Even though I'm highly intelligent, I don't really meet their um, expectations in life either. Which is, you know, which is, is bad for me. You know, I've, I've never really met most women's expectations in life either and I don't get given great opportunities either I think that's why you see some of these women on these reality TV shows some of them are trying to get famous and stuff like that but they're also after the top percent of Australians as well which are the good looking guys the chads as they're called um, the alpha males you know and I'm a beta male so I don't meet the standards of the chads um, at all so Women sort of give me the flick, they think I'm a creep. And they don't like guys like me whatsoever. Even though, you know, I, I like a lot of things, I have a lot of good taste and stuff. But most of these women just don't like me. You know, flat out refuse to even talk to me or even see me. They, you know, they see straight through me, they see me like a ghost. Um, and yeah, and then the problem you've got here in Australia is the, the rise of feminists and why feminists in Australia are also hurting us as well. Um, you know, they always want these, you know, rich ass men and all this sort of stuff um, who can offer them, you know, endless cash and all this sort of stuff. But, you know, they're looking for, you know, to higher up standards as well of living um, that most men don't or can't get here in Australia. Um, even though I've applied for these dating reality TV shows and stuff like that, it, it never really worked out. And, I, you know, this year I blamed coronavirus for all the stuff up, so that's another problem too. I mean, I missed out going on Mixer last night, but there wasn't going to be many, you know, women my age there anyway. It looked like a group of older people, you know, old to older people in their 40s and 50s um, which I never really wanted to associate with those sort of people um, as for, well as friends maybe but as anything else I couldn't see any opportunities there um, yeah so it is a problem you know being single and I'm married and you know I'm 31 still single I'm married um, I don't have a, a steady career in life. Um, I've missed out opportunities in life. Um, I'm also a virgin as well. I've never had, you know, sexual pleasures before. Uh, I've kissed women and I've been in several relationships, but they never planned out to the sexual zones. They were more like friends, really. And um, that's all I make for certain women is I just become friends. I don't become more lovers with them. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, my prospects in the future can change, and that would be great. 